subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to the next July Alpha 18. We are playing the Darkest Falls mod. So this episode we're going to go do a fetch quest right there, which means there must be a house over there. We're going to go do this dig quest and then I want to head down and see if we can find the base on the lake. I want to see what that entails. Can I build there? Can I use it? What, uh, what can I do? As you guys see, we have found the Eve um, character. But guys, I don't even have enough ammo to clear places, that, uh, let alone actually go for quests like that. So as soon as we have like an 8k and proper ammo, we'll do that quest. Because remember, there's also a military bunker, and for that you need to be able to have the ammo to clear out all those behemoths and stuff. Now at the moment we do have a grenade on us, some iron arrowheads, normal arrowheads. Food, should we get seriously injured? Ooh, I don't have any water. Um, should we get infected with herbal antibiotics and then be able to dig and then also have a lockpick for safes? Although... I haven't been able to open a single safe with a lockpick yet because it's just utter crap. Um, I need to see if I can make myself a few more uh, of my own lockpicks. I might be able to, uh, well it's just a waste, but I might be able to really then uh, use the lockpicks more. Also, since we're in this area, I just remembered we can actually go for that bookstore. For the one uh, room we didn't go for, I just hope the zombies didn't respawn too badly. Taking a nice leisurely stroll on my bicycle. I just can't wait until I have the mechanic class or a mini bike or some just something a little bit faster. Ooh, the guppy bike. If I can get the guppy bike going, um, that might be a faster way to travel. I just need to get myself a. I wonder if the bookstore has one of those shopping carts. I almost forgot about that. Or I might have just passed a shopping cart over here. I, I need to check that out. If I can get a shopping cart, I can get a guppy bike going, and that's a motorized vehicle. Then you don't have to worry about stamina. I mean, at the moment, I'm so worried about stamina running out, I need to be careful of how I use it. Just think, you used to be able in previous alphas just to use the roof of these pure eyes to be safe. But now it's gotten so serious, so tough, that if you climb onto this roof, one, the vultures will get you, or two, ooh, yes, or two, uh, you'll end up dying because the zombies managed to dig up there somehow. Damn, how do you pick that up again? It doesn't uh, say pick up as far as I could see. And I need it. Ooh, wrench. Nice. Now, what was the point in buying a wrench last episode if we were just going to find it like this anyways? But guys, we need to focus on leveling up as soon as possible. We need so many skill points. That's the only reason why I'm wearing my nerdy glasses. Remember I said I don't want to level up too fast. But we need to be able to level up enough to really get stuff done. We get the quest done we need to do. Okay, can I do the bathroom over here get stuff done? I don't see how many zombies respawned. I crouch. Wait. Ooh, bird's nest. Remember, we need as many feathers in the beginning as possible. Later, obviously, late game, we don't need to worry about stuff like that. But for now, we are in serious need of that. Oh, the zombies have not respawned yet. Just close that door. If I break through here, when I wake up the zombies, there should still be some sleepers in here. Okay, so if I can get this loot without waiting the zombies up... Then I don't have to kill them. That box, however, I'm going to have to hit right over this guy and he's going to wake up from that. He might just wake up from me hitting this box. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, scrap. Remember, from now on, guys, we need to scrap... Oh, there's a box over there as well. We need to scrap all of these schematics so we can get the uh, skill notes. And then early game, we can actually also remember to do this. Voila, voila, voila. That's one each. But remember, you have to scrap it one at a time, otherwise it doesn't take properly. Okay, so... I don't think he's awake yet. I just want to keep crouch. I don't want him to wake up while I'm busy over here. So I should be able to drive around. I don't think they can get into that room yet. I, I can't remember if there's a way for them to get through here or not. Let's just quickly check this out. That is empty bookstore box. Alright, they need to break through this over here. We need to break through this box over here though. So we need, should actually place a spike there. Do we have wood? Yes, we do. Okay, we just need to place one spike. That if they try and break through the door over here, at least these spikes will come in handy. Now, I might just have to try and break the uh, block first and then place a spike because, as you guys can see, that block is being full at the moment. So let's hope I can actually break through here without doing too much damage or without alerting too many zombies. Because I want to be able to place a spike on that side of the door. Although, might not be necessary. It's nice when they just stay sleeping like that. Okay, just paper. That was a waste. Okay, that is damage. We can't pick that up. I actually want to kill these for the XP, but they're too tough and too fast. 
So I don't really care about zombies that I can't deal with right now. If I could actually kill them, I'd definitely be taking them out. But these three, however, they are easy enough. Remember, we need the XP. Oh, it's almost night time. I need to hurry. Oh, crap. Can't afford... That's all power attacks I'm missing. Every single one of that was just power attacks. Every single one of those shots. I keep missing that and those up, and I hate it. I pride myself on my English, and I make stupid mistakes like that. Okay, so... Come on, Jean. You can't afford to miss like this. This is insane. I missed the easiest of shots. This guy, I think I missed like six times already. And that's precious uh, stamina that I can't get back. Especially since I didn't bring any, uh, bring any drinks with me. I'm going to be screwed if I get caught right now. Okay, this guy. Now he's going to take too much stamina taking down, unfortunately. If I didn't miss that many shots with the one guy, I might have been able to take down the fatso as well. Okay, so I need to do... It's a fit... Uh, uh, bitch. A fetch quest that I need to do now. Ooh, my first town, it seems. No, 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 no. Let's see if I can take this out before more zombies come. Um, the reason for doing this, guys, is we need the gas. If we can get some more gas, we'll be able to make ourselves some more molotovs, and then we might be able to use that during the horde, or clearing out places, like your eyes and stuff. Okay, so it's almost night time. I need to watch out now. It seems it's this pure eye that I need to fetch at. But we first need to activate the quest, right? Please tell me there's no dogs and stuff over here. Okay, so where is this? Wait, where is it? Okay, wrong house. Um, I want to park the bike outside and I'm going to see, is it on top or on bottom? So I can just stack up and get it. I'm not interested in clearing out the place at the moment because it's just a fetch quest. There's no need to clear out a place if you don't have to. Obviously, it gives you more XP if you do, but if you don't, can't or you can't afford to or you just can't, then don't. There's no point. Uh, it seems it's on the bottom le uh, level of here. Um, which side of the house, though? It doesn't show. I want to see if I can perhaps get it through over here. Imagine it's one of these blocks over here, and it's so super easy to get. Okay, I'm actually closing in on it. That's right over here. So if I can get it this way, why not? Just jump up, crouch. Is there a zombie in here? Doesn't seem to be. See, got the courier satchel just like this without any effort. That's going to save us a ton of time. Now, is there a dig quest? Yeah, there is over there. But I'm going to have to book it. I won't be able to clear out the zombies because it's almost night time. Okay, so while I'm here, I can just as well take this car apart. If I'm not mistaken, there might be some end loot inside that barn over there. That's where the secret stash is. But, as you guys can see, it's dark. We need to go. Um, the darker it gets, the more trouble we have. So we need to get out of this area as soon as possible. At least now we know there is a town over here. So as soon as I have the weaponry for it, or the armor for it, we're actually going to come back here and we're going to loot this whole place. Man, the sunset creeps me out. I mean, it looks like Horde Knight. It really looks like Horde Knight at the moment. But it's not. Okay, so food we still have on us. Water. Ah, uh, damn. It's a shame we didn't bring water, because remember, water insta-fills your stamina. Not your max stamina, just your stamina that you can use. So you have to have some water on you. If you run out of stamina, you can just drink something and regain stamina quickly. Obviously, you have to eat if you want to get your max stamina back. I'm going to try and see if I can park my bike right on top of the treasure. Although, I want to get to this dig site before it turns 10. If it turns 10, the ferals might just start hunting me. And that's going to be no good. Come on, come on, come on. Where's, where's the loot? Where's the loot? It's going to be 10 before then, so ferals are going to start hunting me. As you guys know, sterils... Ah, uh, sterils. Ferals spawn in mass. So they just spawn randomly all over when it turns 10. So now we have to keep our eyes open for green... Ah, like that. Damn it. Where is this loot? I'm going to turn my lights off, guys, just so they can't see me. I know it is a little bit light, and I do apologize for that, but if they can't see me, at least I'll be able to get around. I'm going to park my bike right on top of the quest, the quest marker, and I'll be able to drive away. Wait, I'm stuck on something. I don't know what. What am I stuck on over here? I think I'm in a hole. This is where I was earlier. This is a quest we've already done. Let's see if I can place my bike right here. Like so. Oh no, it's not a quest we've already done. It's just on top. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to loot it. Climb on the bike, turn on my lights so you guys can see, and then we're going to book it. Ooh, thank you. Run, 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 run. All of these guys spawning in now are feral. 
So if I can, I'm gonna turn on my lights, but if these zombies can't see me, I think I might just cut away until I'm at the old base, guys. Um, so you guys don't have to uh, watch me in the dark, but if I turn my lights on now, too many zombies are gonna rush me. See guys, we just passed that zombie at the back. It's like 10 meters behind me. And because my light is off, he didn't see me at all. So it's actually nice how the darkness in this game works. It says darkness falls, so when the darkness falls it gets dangerous, but also the darkness actually helps you. The darker it is over here, the better, because the zombies can't see you and they can't get to you. Hello zombies. I wish there was a way to clear out an area, like a whole region. Uh, like put a beacon and all the zombies are drawn to that beacon away from you. I think that might be awesome as well. Okay, let's just first hand in this one's quest. Well, okay, so let's see. It gives more man. options over here. So this is 161. This is... Okay, let's just take this one then. And iron... No, no, no. Iron arrows we're going to use. We need iron arrows. Do you have any jobs more east? Any buried quest? Yes. The more of these quests we can do... Guys, I know it's boring watching me dig quests and stuff. But during the day, we can actually also clear the zombies, so it's a little bit more fun. And also, we need the coin. We seriously need the coin at the moment. Okay, uh, that's five more skill notes right there. And also, wow. Uh, I've, it seems I, I cleared the first yeah, reward, tier one complete. So now I'm going to start unlocking tier two. Special reward for unlocking the tier three quests. Wait, what? Isn't that supposed to say tier one? Anyways, um, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, now, now I'm stuck, guys. Steel fire axe. Melee damage, no, let's go for block damage, 86. Block damage, 57. But this thing, we do have shotgun rounds, we don't have a shotgun. So obviously I'm going to have to take this, but I'm so regretting the fact that I can't take the steel fire axe as well. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> but we do need the shotgun, the more weapons we have, the better. That's going to be so awesome. Okay, now let's see. Um, I should actually make more space over here, and I need to start making that tunnel. Just do this, archery notes. I want to see how much shotgun ammo we have. 63 rounds. See, that's ammo we can use. And also, I think it's better to use a shotgun outside than the pistol. Because a shotgun, you can hit a huge group of zombies at the same time. So let's just do this for now. And just going to use a shotgun. Shotguns we can't use during the horde because you need to get up and close and personal. But pistols you can use from a distance. So it all works out this way. Nice. I'm actually really glad we did that now. Okay, so we should probably swap this one out with the green one. And then I need to make myself some more molotovs, but I don't want to waste the gas. As soon as we can buy an auger, this is going to come in handy. I have to put that there. I just want to see what can stack, what can't stack to make a little more space over here. We are seriously starting to get encumbered now as well. Okay, so we need to see if we can start getting better armor. So we can actually also carry more stuff. And also those carry mods, triple, uh, triple storage pocket mods. Okay, where is the... Nitrate. Remember that I thought I saw nitrate, but I just couldn't see it just now. Okay, so food and water over here is also getting nice and full because there's medical uh, mixed in as well. Let's just eat a vitamin, and then we're going to focus on eating the canned food for now. The other food we're going to save for later, that's our best food. Also, and then maps. Every time we see a map, we'll find a map, guys. We need to read it. Okay, so, um, I wonder if I shouldn't try digging this episode a bit. Or rather, I might cut away from you guys. Cut down. What time is it in game now? If I can just cut down, I would rather dig down. It doesn't even have to be until bedrock. We just need to be able to place our forges and stuff away from the zombies. Um, that way we might be safer, or rather a lot safer. Okay, okay he has reset. Didn't even notice that just now. Come on, do you have a concrete mixer? It's a shame I couldn't afford it the first time it was here. Uh, we need frag rockets for the horde. That is expensive. Um. What else do you have? Gunpowder? No, no, no. Resources? Concrete mix? No, unfortunately not. That would be... So oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we make steel tools yet? Okay, this is locked. We have read it so we can make it, but we need to unlock steel crafting. Uh, where is that located, though? I think it's going to be under labor class, where we are. Hammer and forge. Craft steel, steroids, concrete mixer, and concrete. Concrete mixer, yes! Okay, so that is definitely worth it. Advanced engineering, what's this again? Table saw, mining helmet, basic electric components. Workbench, we already have one. Advanced electrical components. Fences, blade traps, auger, chainsaw. We need to go into that as well. But for now, we first need to focus on getting these full. So the loot we find when we go out looting is way better. 
Um, tool crafting needs to be level three. Oh, but we don't need a chemistry station at the moment. We have one. I need to remember that. We don't have to uh, spend points any of that at the moment. Back mule, I should actually also buy because it uh, it's gets you more spaces. I don't know how many more. Okay, carry 12 more items. Carry six. So it's six more spaces if I get this one now. But where's a lucky looter? Quality Joe. Okay, so since I haven't invested anything over here in minus 69 yet, let's just buy this one. Because we're going to do some digging now during the night. Or I'm going to do a little bit of digging off camera. And with that, I should be able to level up at least one more time. If I can do that, if I can manage to level up one more time, I can get to another mining skill or go into other skills as well. I need to get to level 20 as soon as possible. So now we should be able to make a concrete mixer as well. Let's just see what we need. Concrete mix. No, the mixer. I keep forgetting it's cement mixer, not concrete mixer. Okay, so we need four springs and an engine. We should have those. Engines and four springs. Ooh, I should also be able to make myself contact grenades right now. We, ha we have read the book for it. And I think we do have a resource. Let's see. Contact grenade. Contact. Contact, contact. Um, yeah, we can make it. Uh, I wanted to dig during the night, damn it. Um, what do you need? Oh, I think you need the metal works. No, you don't. What do you need? Yes, yeah, science. Aw, are you kidding me? I need science to make it. Unless... Contact grenade ammo. Yeah, I can make it over here. Nice! If I can loot with this, guys. Let's just see. Mechanical parts, forged iron, gun... Oh, gunpowder is going to be the problem. We don't have a ton of gunpowder. I might need to buy myself some, but if I can do that, I can clear out large groups of zombies really fast. So please tell me you have a ton of gunpowder for me. Gunpowder, 60. No, that's not enough. Damn it, I should have bought gunpowder when he had gunpowder. Now that I need it, he doesn't have it. Thanks for shopping here. Okay, so we should be able to make ourselves a few rounds at least. So let's grab the springs, mechanical parts, and forged iron over there. Please tell me I can make at least five or so. Four. Uh, okay, that's more than enough. Or enough for now. Later on, obviously, we're going to need way more. If I can have these ready for the horde as well. Early game, guys, this is the best one to use. Okay, so we need to make ourselves more space again now. Uh, rockets go in there, coins go in here. I might just have to take an in-game episode or in-game day just to do some mining. Uh, it's going to be boring watching me mine, that's the only problem. That's all the reason I want to do it off-camera. If we had the auger, that would have been a prob wouldn't have been a problem. Although, auger, 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 we should be able to make it now. No, it's still locked. Perk? Oh, do I need a... Oh, I can't make it yet. It's level 4 over here. Okay, so I was mistaken. It's a concrete mixer we can make now. But yeah, uh, cement mixer, we were busy looking at that. The sooner we have the orca, the better. So I'm going to have to start spending some skill points in that. Springs. What else is there? Mechanical parts. And we should be able to make ourselves a uh, cement mixer now. Although I think it's locked. Yeah, we need the weld... Ooh, we don't have a welding torch. No, we don't have a welding torch. It is the... Metal workbench. Metal workstation. Damn, that sucks. I completely forgot you need that now. Wait, why can't I make the metal workstation? Workbench, metal workstation. Uh, it's under work. Oh, it's under grease monkey. Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's going to be a while until I can actually make that, guys, unfortunately. Damn. Okay, uh, guppy bike, though. Guppy bike. Oh, I didn't pick up uh, shopping carts. Damn it. As soon as we have that shopping cart, I really want to try it. And let's just eat this last can. So then open up the slot for us. Okay, and then we just probably should drop the forged iron bit. Although, we do need to make ourselves some more repair kits. Do I have, yeah, I have the glue over here, right? Yes, okay. So for now, we don't need any glue for ourselves. We just make the duct tape. We're going to keep 12 of these bars on us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Dump that, that. And we're ready to go again. But I do need to make myself a place underneath to really get going, guys. We need to be safe from wards. Um, uh, we need to loot over here. As, as soon as the cops start showing and they vomit, they're going to vomit over and they're going to start destroying this place. And if they destroy this stuff, I'm going to be so mad. I can't make my own chemistry station. So we need to be able to put this underground. Okay, you know what? Well, we're going to come back here anyways. We're going to do the other two quests as well. So this is a questing episode at least. Uh, we should be able to kill the zombies we come across now. 
So it's at least a little bit of fun. But the more quests we get done, the better. We need to level up from killing those zombies, getting the quest done, and get coins, as many as possible. So we're going to use this one. <laughs> At this stage, we're going to uh, start getting stuck on all the holes I'm digging for these quests. It has actually happened in the past, uh, the past series that I've done, especially the previous series, the early game. Every time I cut away off camera like I'm driving long distances, I get stuck in holes. And it, it turns out to be the holes that I dug earlier trying to get the treasures done. I'm actually kind of curious to see how many wandering zombies over here. There's always a ton of wandering zombies waiting for me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. So I should be able to dig right here. I just, uh, I'm just glad I didn't drop my... No, 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 no. Didn't drop my shovel. That would have sucked. I need it right now. Okay, so I'm finally able to do two shots worth of damage to blocks, which is awesome. Let me just move this up a little bit. Ooh, I'm getting stuck in my own hole. I'm going to pick up my bike, though. I'm going to get stuck over here, and then I'm going to get screwed when the zombies charge me. Let's just do that. But yeah, now that I've invested in the digging skill a little bit, I don't have to worry as much. Okay, so it should be either way or be yeah. Which way? Which way? Wrong way. Yeah, I need to be able to jump out of this hole quickly. It's right there. Okay, so let's do this. I know it. I can't destroy this block because I won't be able to see this anymore. Let's do this then. We need to be able to get out fast and face these zombies. It's supposed to. I think. I wonder if these are level two quests. Because I re remember I just completed tier one, so these zombies might get a little bit tougher now. Okay, doesn't seem to be the case. Let's use melee. If there are too many zombies for me to deal with, we'll start using the grenades. But the uh, longer we can go without using the grenades, the better. Come on, Jean, get those headshots in. I can't afford to keep missing headshots this much. Just look at this. Every time I actually connect a shot, it's an instant kill. But how often do I actually get these instant kills? Because I keep missing the damn shots. Okay, so only four zombies. Three zombies spawned. Oh, come on. As soon as I climb on the bike, all of a sudden I fall down. Okay, we're going to do this. I just want to do this. And then grab the shotgun. Just in case tough zombies spawn. We're able to... Oh, it must be done on hot bar. Damn it. Um, in case tough zombies spawn, at least we have the shotgun on us. Because remember, the higher the tier gets for digging and everything, the more zombies start to run and get tougher. Okay, so there is a bird's nest right here. The only reason I'm stopping is not for the bird's nest, but for this over here. Ooh, loot. No, 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 no. Loot first. Loot first. Almost I didn't see that I can still loot this. Okay, let's just quickly destroy this. I need to get myself a laser... Um, this soon I can actually get that. The uh, advanced laser tool. Or laser multi-tool. I mean, that tool is awesome. It's a wrench, it's a upgrade tool, it's everything. Remember, with wrenches, you can't upgrade anymore, which sucks. Okay, that zombie is going to come for me as soon as I go for this quest over here. Where is this? Okay, it's right here. But I think he just saw me, right? Did he? If he comes for me while I'm digging, I'm going to be a little, uh, little, little, little bit of trouble. Oh, come on. Not again. I need to put my bike far enough away so I, I'm not... Constantly falling into the hole. Okay, so the nice thing now is we do have this. Let's just use it. Oh, that was a bad shot. But I just also invited all the zombies in the area to come after me. I can't afford to keep using my shotgun. Especially if I'm not doing um, killing blows. That was a really bad shot. I actually shot his shoulder just now. Ooh, okay. So, yep, they're coming. Let's let them come closer. I'm just going to do this. One down. Come on, one down. Pull into the hole, please. Bullseye. See, that's how powerful it is if you actually uh, connect. Okay, reload just in case tough zombie spawn. Stand up. I hope I can actually jump out of this. I'll just do this just in case. I need to pick this up before she gets here because otherwise there's one more zombie to deal with. Run, 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 run. Okay, so now we can focus on killing the zombies. Bullseye, headshot. See, as long as you're doing headshots, you're fine. I don't want to waste my ammo on just normal zombies. But I mean, one shot kill, and you don't have to get hit by zombies. Oh, except if you do that. Oh wow, I'm getting cold at the moment. Nice. Headshots. Oh, come on. They were lined up so nicely just now. Remember, that's the nice thing about the shotgun. When they're lined up, you can actually hit both of them at the same time. Although, I just shot right over this one's shoulder. Somehow. Okay, reload. I mean, if I can use this shotgun every time I do a dig quest, it's going to make me be able to do dig quests way faster and way more often. 
Wait, where's that zombie? Hello, hello, hello. I think when it gets tougher or when I loot places that are really big, I'll start using my grenades. And also, I need to go check on that waterfront. Yeah, we're going to go past the trader. Quickly going to go see what it looks like at the water. And then unfortunately, it's going to have to be next episode. We're definitely going to loot that uh, lake, um, lake house. I think it's a lake house. Come on, we need a wandering trader. Every time I see a survivor like that, I feel like it's the trader just to get disappointed. I can't understand why I'm this cold though. I should still have some clothing on unless it got destroyed from a zombie or something. And I do need to uh, still repair all my armor. I keep getting hit just now it breaks and then it offers no protection. As it just likes, I actually considered doing, uh, going into my old save, my old series. But then again, I upgraded to this version so it might get a little bit of an issue. But I, did, uh, I actually considered going in there and going for that big bunker because I forgot to do that last series. Only problem is it's going to be bugged now because it's 18.4 and that save was 18.3. A lot of people have complained about uh, buildings risen in the air and just bugged out and everything. So the sooner we can do that place in this series, the better. Obviously, it's going to be late game because it's a really tough thing to do. But still, I want to be able to do that. Let's just quickly get my stamina back over here. Uh, scrap stuff we don't need. Opsy do need. Although I don't even drink the beer, so I could have just as well easily. Oh, no, no. Jump, 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 jump. Could have easily actually uh, scrapped that one. I don't know why I keep. And here it's not burping. It's just it's a hiccup kind of thing. Okay, so technically I need the bow, but we have a, a, a green quality. Let's just see. Entity damage 26 or other range, and this is 25. So technically this iron uh, crossbow is better. And if you put uh, the crossbow around, then it's going to be better. But this one is going to help me dig through dirt faster. So if I put it on my shovel, that's going to help me insanely. Okay, any jobs? Okay, various supplies, east, east Can level 2 tiers. Yeah, but we're not going to do that right now. Like I said, I want to head to that lake and see if we can get that done. Or, where's that dropping now? That's too far away. We'll, we'll go for that drop when we go for the treasure on that side. Let's just mark it over there so I know it's there. And that's a POI we can also loot, so I need to loot every single POI I come across. Okay, I accidentally went to my uh, streaming screen, the chat screen, and I went out of the game. So I hope you guys can still hear me properly. Okay, butchering, we know this one, but it's three more. Uh -huh. Let's just see. This sells full, 80. This sells full, 112. Let's just go for that instead. Jobs, east. East, east, east. Clear zombies, buried treasures. That's south. Yeah, we need to go the south direction anyway, so we can start doing quests in that direction. Really Doesn't matter. It's still level one though, unfortunately, but still. Let's get a quest is a quest. Okay, so let's sell this. Dog food we need to keep. Um, the rest of the stuff we need to keep. Okay, there's nothing really we can sell. And then we should probably make repair kits as well. I almost actually completely forgot that we had those on us. Okay, so um, we can keep two cans on us. We can keep the shams should we get really, really injured. Is it starting to rain in game again? It rains way too much and the visibility goes super down. I need to see, I need to do some research and see if I can actually dis, uh, disable that. I mean in the beginning, or not, not even the beginning, it just, it sucks not being able to see in game. Okay, so, resources we can drop. Ammo goes over here. That should be it for now, and then obviously we need to put the cloth away as well. Okay, so we can put this on our shovel. There you go. And, ooh. Oh, I, I, should, I must have gotten that from the... Wait, what did I just do? I must have probably gotten that from the drop just now. Nice. The more of these bandages I have, the better. So, I can actually now then put these away. Because I have a lot of these. Okay, now I need to repair my tools as well. Just so we make sure we can always use them and they don't br just break. And repair, repair. Need to check if my pistol over here needs any repairs. Nope. Okay, so we should be set for this horde, guys, but we need an automatic weapon. And this guy's being so stingy because he doesn't have any weapons in his inventory, or any that we can use at least. I mean, the sledgehammer, it's okay, but I mean, he uses a ton of stamina. And we don't want to we don't wanna take that chance. Okay, so there's one more over here. I need to start digging off-camera as well. What time is it in-game now? Yeah, so inventory, it is now 2 o'clock. You know, guys, I think I'm going to go and dig a little bit over here. See if I can't perhaps level up a little bit as well. And then next time we go, uh, when you get back, we can go for that uh, 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 house on the lake, lake house. And we can also go for these quests and explore a little bit further. Because there's a whole town over there that we can actually go looting. 
What's this? That's a loot drop. That's a chest. That's a chest. So we need to go in this fashion that way. But first, we're going to go to the lake. We're going to go onto the lake, and then we're going to go straight down this road to go through all of that. So if we haven't touched the PRI yet, I'm going to take those PRIs out. I should actually start with this one over here, and then move up. I need to make sure every single PRI on the map that I've seen is done. Anyways, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like to share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Did I miss anything? What do you guys think about this episode? Anything at all? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, um, remember to hit that subscribe button for all this content. Almost what I wanted to say. But yeah, I'm just going to be digging now, and see you guys next episode.